Wendy Reiner from Hatch Finders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. Today I'm tying a floating Betis emerger. And you might see these in most fly shops, but it's very important to tie them the, the correct way. If the silhouette is just a little bit off, um, it, it won't be effective. Betis you have to be a little finicky with. Uh, so let me show you how to tie this floating Betis emerger. You'll want to use an emerger hook. We tie them size 10 through 16. I'm going to be using an olive thread. And I make my thread base, bring my thread down to hook point, snip off the tag end. Uh, the tail, you can use a few different fibers for the tail. This is uh, the Whiting Coque de Leon tailing pack. Uh, you could use mallard or you could use wood duck. I happen to have some, some Coque de Leon, so I'm just going to pull one of these beautiful feathers off. And I'm going to use closer to the tip just a few fibers. You don't need much. Perfect. And the tail is just a little bit longer than hook shank, not by much. And we're going to tie that in. Trim off your excess. Very nice. Next step is the body. And I use turkey biot quills. Uh, I've seen it tied with, with dubbing. Most fly shops will have dubbing, but I think the, the, the biot gives it a really nice segmented look. And this is muskrat gray. And you'll want to use this side of your turkey feathers. So these fibers right here, these little fibbits on the side, these are what you will use for the biot body. And I have one here. I tie that in right above the tail at the tip of the biot. And then I'm going to bring my, my thread forward to right behind the eye. And you can tie this in with the, the little ridge showing, or you can cover it entirely. It's personal preference. I'm just going to start wrapping it forward. Tie it off. Snip off that excess tag end. Wrap it down with my thread. Nice, pretty gray body. And for the little emerger wing, we are using Trout Hunter CDC in white. Uh, you can use a medium done or a light done. Uh, I typically tie it with white. And this represents the shuck. And there are a few different ways to tie the little shuck onto the fly. Uh, I usually tie it in at the tip. I've seen people tie it in different ways and that works just as well too but I create just like a little little bubble I uh, bend the feather forward over the eye of the hook <clears throat> and it creates just a, a small little little shuck you don't need much trim off the excess
you can trim away some of the lo longer fibers. But it's also nice to have a few little fibers sticking out. Makes it look more realistic. And to finish off the head, we are using a light olive, super fine dubbing. Really pretty color. And we're just going to tie in a small little head on this floating betis. So right behind the eye, in between the eye and the little, the little shuck, we'll tie in our head. And then we'll whip finish it off right behind the eye tie in several good knots. Floating Betis Emerger works wonderful in the spring and the fall here in southwest Montana and in Yellowstone National Park. A beautiful fly. Floating Betis Emerger.